Hello, I'm Nightmare, and welcome to Suggestion Box, a game off Game Jolt. It's an indie game um, where you're taking suggestions for your company to make it better. Um, let's see how to play. Stock is affected by economic factors. Okay. Customer satisfaction affected by reputation. Okay. Well, I guess there's... Okay. Quota 2 of 5 approved. Alright, so our stock's at 90, our customer approval's at 90, and it looks like we can reject 3. Is that right? And then we left click or right click. Alright, Keelan Albert. He's the delivery man. He's wanting a job. Why not? Wyoming delivery man named new senior executive of O'Brien. Keelan Albert... A 25-year-old delivery man living in a small city in Wyoming has been named senior executive of Oberion, or Oberon. Earlier today, despite the fact that his only experience in the world of business is this one time when he talked to the grocery store manager, he's about the pears. He brought smell. He bought smelly funny. Okay. <clears throat> Dan Wilson, he's a doctor. Face fake license maker. Uh, I don't think that's a good idea for my company. Uh, Seymour Butts, a fisherman. Force customers to listen to terms of service in its entirety before startup. Well, people wouldn't like that. Okay, I think I did good there. Xavier Bitterfoot, he's a gardener. Fish to English translator. What would I need that for? What would anybody need that for? Janine Palmer. She's retired. Smartphone for cats. I'm for that. Uh, okay. Gretchen Kramer. Computer with a self-destruct button? Oh, I didn't read this. Cats ignore phones and humans that bought them. The newest of Baron phone. The first special... If I could talk... Ah... All right, the newest Oberon phone that first specifically designed for cats was initially met with the praise from cat lovers nationwide. But as cat owners began to bring these phones home, they came home to the realization that no product will change the fact that cats will never particularly care for their owners, no matter how much blah, 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 blah. Oh, I put a stamp on it. Huh. I guess that's a thing I can do. All right. Um, computers with self-destruct. I don't think that's a good idea. Chet Gunderson. He's a pharmacist. Fish brain computer. Oh, nobody like that. How do I get rid of all that? How do what? Are, I broke it. I broke it. Oh, uh, okay. Elliot Tiddywinks. <laughs> he's a plumber. Skater hater. <laughs> Throw money at your customers. I guess that wasn't good. Oh, horrible. I had zero stock. My approval was 100. Half hours times four, whatever that means. Let's play one more time. Mortimer Jamison, he's a butler. He says a hotel for birds. I think that's a good idea. Pete Walker, the karate teacher that says device that smells fear. <clears throat> birds nationwide and I able to pay for bird hotel. Ha, 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 I'm all for that. Wow, that really did good. Horror movies now market using O'Brien's fear ratings. Spooky Goblin House 5. The latest in horror film series has employed a new fresh technique to market itself to the public by using a beer and fear detector on test audiences. The film can scientifically prove that its high fear factor. The film ranks it as a 7.2 among audiences. That was a good choice. All right. Uh, no, the smartphone for cats was not good. Force ghosts to file my taxes from Charles Rogers. Diner owner. <laughs> okay. Ghostly labor leaves thousands changing wills. Because <laughs> I'm evil. I'm evil. All right. Keelan Albert, he wants a job. We had this before. Let's give him a job. 
Dan Wilson, he's a doctor. Fake license maker. I don't think that's a good choice. Fran Bon. He's a water boy. Or she is. Make computers dumber so they don't outsmart humans. Oh, bad choice. Bad choice. <laughs> Pip Lombard. He's a drill sergeant. He wants virtual pizza. That's a bad choice, too. Oh, my God. Let's give him... Jamie Willow wants yoga instructor. Or she wants yoga instructor. I'm so dumb. Ugh. Provide fair insurance to all employees. Well, my customer approval went up. My stock went down. O'Brien provides ferret insurance to single employee with ferret. At least I did something. Seymour Butts is back. He's a fisherman. Force customers to listen to terms of service in its entirety. No. We're not going to do that. I don't know what anybody would do with a fish, fish brain computer. What would that do? Okay. File a lawsuit. Oh, that was bad. I should have known better. Power your offices with electric rowboats. No, because that would make people work harder. Throw money at your customers. That would be bad. Make a computers make computers emit gamma radiation. That's bad. Fish to English translator. Hey, that worked. Start a pyramid scheme. Uh oh. I had to approve it. That's not good. Oh, I'm not doing good. <clears throat> I'm bankrupt. I did so bad. So, so bad. Mm. That's just a silly little game. I thought I'd play it just for funsies. Um, you can check it out for yourself on Game Jolt. I don't know. It can probably go on and on and on for a while if you do good with it. Um, if you like this episode, hit the like button. And always, be nice to one another. There's too much hate going on. And we'll meet in the next episode. See you guys.